What's up and welcome to the channel. In today's calisthenic and street workout tutorial you will be learning the V-sit. But this time I got help by the two times Swedish champion in street workout, Molly Molly Jansson. My name is Daniel Flerfield and today Marlin will go through the exercises and explain what to think of when doing the visit. Welcome to the channel Marlin. Thank you so much for having me. We are happy to have you here but now tell us what will you go through exactly today? So I will show you five exercises that will challenge both the strength and the flexibility to be able to perform a perfect visit and also of course I will tell you about the technicalities and what you should think of when performing the visit. That sounds awesome, but before we start, I, uh, I want to know a little bit about yourself. Okay. How old are you? Where are you from? How long have you been doing street workout? What your background is and your favorite quote? Okay, so I'm 27 years old and I'm from Sweden, like you. I've been doing street workout for about four years now. And before that, I did cheerleading for eight years. And my favorite quote is, my biggest enemy is me and even I can stop me. That's super nice. First of all, I want to know what muscles you're using when performing the V-sit, but also what is the technique and what do you need to think of when executing it? Okay, so it requires both strength and flexibility for the skill. And it requires a lot of strength in the core area, especially compression and also in the hip flexors. You need to be flexible in the hamstrings and the hip flexor as well. Yeah. And some technicalities that you should think of when performing it is especially the compression that I mentioned earlier, which is kind of a core tension where you like suck in the belly instead of pushing it out, if that makes sense. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> and also to tilt the pelvis backwards. Okay, perfect. Now, how long did it take for you to learn the visit? Um, that's a hard question to answer because I kind of had an okay visit when I started street workout because I had some fundamental strength in the core and I were really flexible already. Uh, but to get it as good as I have it today took me maybe two years. That's pretty good. But one of my goals is actually Marlin's V-sit. I want to have it as clean as she does and she will soon show you guys how it looks. But now let's go on, go on to the first exercise yes. and what is that? So the first exercise is a stretch against the wall where we will stretch the hamstrings and the hip flexors. So the first exercise is a pike stretch against the wall. You start with getting your butt as close to the wall as possible. Then you get your legs up, and here it's important to, that you really try to keep your legs straight. Okay, you place your hands as close to your body as possible to be able to get yourself as close to your legs as possible. So now you push yourself forward in towards your legs, like this. Try to keep your back as straight as possible, and do not round it like this. So exercise number two is compression lifts, which will challenge the strength in the compression, which I mentioned earlier, and also in the hip flexors. So you start by sitting down with fully straight legs. You place your hands with the palms down. And I would say you should place them pretty close to your knees, but the further forward you, you place them, the harder this exercise will be. So now you are going to lift your legs with the upper body totally still. Just like this. And here you should always think of the compression. So suck in your belly every time you lift. Like this. Before I show you the next exercise, I want you to hit that like button so this video can reach more people. And now that you've done it, let's move on. Now it's time for some high knee raises. And for this exercise, you need a pair of boxes or high P bars or something similar. So in this exercise, I want you to really focus on the pelvic tilt backwards. And you want to get your knees to the chest by tilting your pelvis backwards. 
And in this exercise, it's okay to lean a bit backwards with your upper body. Like this. Really get your hip high and tilt the pelvis. Okay, so let's move on to the single leg extensions. And we, when you can manage to do this one, I would say that you are very close to the full V-sit. So this exercise challenge both the core and, flex, uh, core and hip flexor strength and also the flexibility in the hamstrings and the hip flexors. And what you will do that is that you will place your hands on the boxes again. You will hold a like static uh, knee raise and then you will extend one leg at a time as slowly and controlled as possible. So it will look like this. Compress, straight out, try to hold a bit, down and change. So we've come to the last exercise, which is toes to bars. And this is actually one of my favorite exercises when it comes to increasing compression strength and hip flexor strength. This one you can do either on a free bar like this or on a wall bar. And I prefer to do it on a wall bar because when you have something behind your back, you can't cheat by leaning backwards and using your back muscles. So you really need to use the compression strength and hip flexor strength to lift your legs. So let me show you how it looks. So really compress when you lift and try to lift as high as possible. And if you can only lift here, that's okay. Now that you have all the exercises that you need to be able to perform the visit, let me show you the full visit. So what I think of when doing it is the compression that I've talked about a lot in this video and also the pelvic tilt backwards. I also think, to think about the scapula depression, meaning that I push my shoulders down to have good form so I don't hold myself up like this. I also try to think of not leaning too much backwards. That's, that's very common among people that don't have this hip flexor strength and also flexibility in the hamstrings, that they lean too much backwards to be able to lift their legs. Okay, Marlin, now that you have showed all the exercises, I want to ask you who are the exercises for? Is it for beginners or intermediate or advanced? Um, I would say that it's uh, mostly for beginners and someone with intermediate experience. Okay, perfect. And now, how often should you work on the skill? Uh, I would say at least two times per week, but it depends on how like fast and how good you want it. Yeah. But the optimal amount of like visit sessions would be three to four times per week. Perfect. And now, uh, we're going to end this video. Do you want to add something? Yes, actually I would like. Yeah. Girls and boys, uh, please leave a comment down below before you leave this video and tell us about what exercise you thought looked the hardest. And also make sure to subscribe to Daniel's channel for more content and maybe I will be kind enough to come back here and make a handstand press tutorial for those of you that subscribed. Damn! So Make sure to subscribe and thank you Marlin for coming here doing this tutorial with me and showing you uh, showing us the valuable <laughs> tips and exercises there so people can learn the visit. Thanks for having me. And remember to go to Marlin's YouTube channel as well. She puts amazing content there as well, some tutorials and you should definitely check out her IG page where she posts amazing content and show her crazy skills that she has. Now subscribe and I will see you in, in the, the next, next video. video.